what's going on guys it's your boy peter and welcome back to a day in my life as an aircraft maintenance engineer in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys some fuel process of what i do as an aircraft maintenance engineer um this aircraft is here for an lmv that's a line maintenance visit um, so basically, usually I like starting off with my service check. So I'm going to be checking my, you know, my hydraulic system, my oil, my oxygen, and my tire pressure, brakes, and all the important system on an aircraft. Starting off with my procedure, I'm going to be doing some fuel cycles on the flap and slat control. And for you to be able to operate the slats and flaps, you need your hydraulic system pressurized. Um, that's just me pressurizing my hydraulic system. So I'm going to be cycling the flap and slats a couple times. And I'll be showing you guys in this video. Alright guys, one of my first task card for today is to change the engine oil filter and in today's video I'm going to be working on the PW1500 um, engine. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys the oil process and also you got to make sure you follow your aircraft maintenance manual.
Alright guys, for this engine filter, it's actually different from your regular VFG filter or your engine fuel filter, filter especially for this um, engine specifically. Um, this filter, you actually need a jack screw to pull the filter out compared to your regular VFG filter and it actually states in the AMM to use a jack screw. Trying to pull this out with your muscle, trust me, it's not going up and that is because you will see in this video there is actually seal around the filter and i'm going to be showing you guys in the next clip Alright guys, the next step before installing my new filter is to actually change the seal around the filter cap. Um, and one of the purpose of the filter seal, or the oil ring specifically, is to prevent any type of oil leak. And you guys will see in this video how hard it is to push the new filter in and that is because the new seal is actually really really thick so you need it requires a lot of pressure to actually put the
hopefully you guys enjoyed this short video of me showing a day in my life as an aircraft maintenance engineer if you guys do please do not forget to like share and subscribe and if you need any information on how to become an aircraft maintenance engineer you can always hit me up on instagram love you guys